If you're a Dragon Ball Super fan who hasn't been living under a rock these past couple of weeks, you know that there's a new OP character amongst the franchise. I really wasn't expecting an extremely buff purple egg in a Power Ranger outfit to be the new IT character, but Akira Toriyama continues to amaze me. Side note, this will have spoilers, but without any further ado, let's get right to it. Jiren, the ultimate force from Universe 11. How can I say he made an outstanding introduction showing off his strength when he stands perfectly still to deflect a Kamehameha from Goku with his energy? And proceeds to beat the hell out of Goku as if he's fucking Yamcha. Yamcha, I, I mean, Goku goes into Ultra Instinct, the form that makes his body move on instinct? I guess he doesn't have to think in order for his body to move anymore. But even then, Goku still isn't able to beat Jiren at his full strength. Jiren proceeds to fight Hit, which was, in my opinion, the most hype fight I've ever waited for in the Dragon Ball franchise. Only to see Hit get knocked out by Jiren with basically only landing one punch. Hit even held Jiren inside of time. And apparently, Jiren is so strong that no, that, doesn't, that doesn't even make sense. How, bro? How does that even make sense? You have an assassin who mastered time and this new purple Teletubby in a Power Ranger outfit just comes along and just, oh yeah, I see you, you trained a long time, but yeah, face, I, and why didn't he, why didn't Hit improve going against Jiren? I don't even think Hit is out of the tournament yet, but that's, that's, that's beside the point. So after treating Hit like a side character, he looks over to Goku, look at him in the eyes and says, the warriors I am needed for are already gone, which left everyone at this point wondering, who the fuck is this? But... I have a theory. Join me as we expose the truth about our purple Teletubby who just took steroids and went into a tournament in a Power Ranger costume. Remember, this might be true. Remember when Goku and Jiren was about to fight and Jiren was told by Vermoud, the god of destruction in that universe, the little clown guy, you can't really miss him. He was told by Vermoud to actually crush Goku. Before this, we never saw any real fighting from Jiren, and he answered as if he was forced to, as if that was his master. The weird thing about this that stood out to me was that, well, Vermaud, apparently, from the little information we really know, he doesn't abide evil. He doesn't like evil. He's not an evil guy. So for him to tell Jiren to crush Goku is kind of contradictive, really, in my opinion. What if Jiren at one point met with this God of Destruction to where the God of Destruction gave Jiren an opportunity? A portion of his power in exchange for Jiren's obedience, but but why? Why would Jiren agree to basically be a slave to this clown of destruction? Well, judging from Jiren's character, we know he stands for justice. I mean, look at the disgust when he fights Hit when he says, An assassin's pride. What rubbish. Damn. Oh my god, that gotta hurt. That gotta hurt really. Up until this point, we've never seen Jiren show any emotion, but when he fights Hit, an assassin, Jiren loses his edge, even if it's a little. Which made me wonder, what if Jiren related to Hit? That cold killer lifestyle, what if Jiren before this was an assassin, or even worse? But when the God of Destruction was to destroy him, instead, he offered him a deal. Serve him and become a part of his vision of justice in exchange for power. He would have full control over Jiren, I mean, they did say he was a lazy god of destruction. I mean, would you do anything if you had someone who could do it for you? And with this contract, he can communicate with Jiren at any time, hence the telepathic convo in the big purple guy's head. But if Jiren is trapped in this contract with Vermaud and he has to do whatever he says, what if Jiren is secretly crying out for help? Which is why he left Goku in the tournament. What if Jiren knows that Goku is the only one who could set him free? What if Jiren knows that Goku is his knight in shining armor, his Link to his Zelda, his Krillin to his Senzu Bean. I don't know. Well, if you guys made it to the end of the video, make sure you leave a like if you liked it. Let me know if you didn't down in the comment section. Let me know what characters you guys want me to do. I'm also going to try a Mario video, not from now. But I definitely want to thank you guys. I stayed up till 3 a.m. making this video. I got to work at 7 a.m. Um, so sorry if it isn't as much editing in this video as it was the last one. But I definitely appreciate you guys just looking at the video. Um, make sure you guys check out the links in my description, man. Shout out to Phenom and West, man. Check out their channels. They make a lot of good content, man. They actually help me help me out a lot in this video. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Thank you guys so much for watching it, man. I do appreciate it. Make sure you guys leave a like. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. It is your boy Zinc Zeus, Zeus for whatever you want to call me. 
Let the gods be with you, man.